Okay, so in this example, we're going to find the least common multiple of 12 and 40 by using the prime factorization. So first of all, I'm going to write out the prime factorization, 12, so that's going to be 2, right? And then what happens here is that that's going to give me 2 times 6, but um, that's going to give me another 2, right, times 3. Because again, if I do the factor tree, right, 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12, okay? So I'm going to write this in exponential form. So this is 2, to, 2 squared times 3. Now I'm going to do the same thing with 40. Okay, so again, I'm going to start with 2. So 2 times 20, but then 20 is divisible by 2, so that'll give me 2 times 10. 10 is also divisible by 2, so that'll give me 2 times 5. And then 5 is prime, so I'm done. So 2 times 2 times 2 times 5 is 40, because this is 8, 5 times 8 is 40. So now I'm going to write this in exponential form. This gives me 2 cubed times 5. So I'm done with that part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to list, I'm going to basically list out the prime factors that I see among the two, between the two. Okay, so I'm going to write it. Now here, 2 is, two is common, right? So the smallest one is 2, so I'm going to start again, start with the smallest one. So, but it's common, so I want the one with the biggest, uh, the bigger exponent in this case. So 2 cubed. And then also I see a 3, and I see a 5. And so I'm going to take those and multiply them together. And what does that give me? Well, So if I multiply this, this is going to give me 8, 24, right? And so times 5 is going to give me 120. And so the least common multiple of 12 and 40 equals 120. Have a good day.